Are we live? We seem to be live. Okay, hello. I'm Sunset Carson Appleton. Um, I'm here in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. I saw Lord and Run the Jewels and Mitski tonight. Um, and I'm hanging out in an Airbnb. And um, tonight I have a flavor that... I've heard, I've heard a lot of back and forth about this. Um, it's one that, well, it's it's the most unique Gatorade flavor that I've ever had. Um, it's not what you expect necessarily from a Gatorade, um, and a, as stated or implied I've had this before this is not a first time uh, taste this is not um, something new to me uh, I've, I've already cracked open this bottle um, but there's there's no going back to the first time I had it so uh, you know it's uh, it is what it is. It's the lime cucumber, uh, limon, pepi limon pepino. My accent is atrocious. Um, this, it's my understanding that this was initially um, brought out to market primarily to Hispanic communities. It's not, um, it's not a, a an American flavor, um, but it's it's picked up some steam and uh i want to talk about it <laughs> because it's it's not uh it's not what we're used to um okay so when you crack open a bottle of Gatorade um you're not generally expecting a big whiff of cucumber <laughs> Uh, cucumber is not one of my favorite veggies. I love my vegetables, but cucumber, mm, not, not super great in my book. They make you burp. It never quite tastes right to me. It never tastes ripe to me. Like, there's still more, like it should have stayed on the vine longer. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Um, and again, not many of y'all watching yet, but feel free to bounce things off of me here. Um, yeah, there's not really much in the way of the, the lime that really pops out to me in, in the nose of it. Um, it's just cucumber. It's like taking a like slicing open a cucumber and taking a whiff of it. Um, you you can definitely you can taste the lime more um, it, when you taste it, but um, the cucumber of it it's it's not sweet. It's, well, it's it's sweet, but it's it's not Gatorade sweet. It's not what you would expect from a Gatorade. Um, it's a lot of cucumber on the palate. And then the, there's like a little bit of like citrus sweetness fr from the lime flavoring. Um, I am personally into it because it tastes refreshing as shit. It tastes like one of those. Um, it, 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 it the distinct memory that I have that I associate with the flavor of like cucumber water is the time that I got my first job ever and smoked weed at that time and didn't really understand policies on drug tests and drank tons of a solution I found on the internet of 
mint and cucumber and apple cider vinegar and uh, I think I, I may have burned myself out on the concept of cucumber at the time but that was years ago and coming back to it it's it's growing on me more and more each time that I have it and I might be convincing myself to like it or something but I mean I'm okay with that like in, in the last stream I talked about crystal Pepsi and in that capacity it's it's not that different uh, Charlotte what what do you mean uh, source my source on on what my source of Gatorade or my source of opinion or palette um, Cucumber was tame. Yeah, yeah, Seth. I um. I think. I I don't know. I I never think of cucumber as like a an aggressive flavor. It just like hits my palate on a place I don't expect it to, or a place I guess a lot of the things that I consume don't. Um, like. Like, it's all like, nah, like, how do I, okay, here's, it's like tongue, and it's like, nah, on the tongue, and like, if I, if I roll it up here, then I get more of that lime sweetness, um, my source on it, I, um, oh, my source on, on the, the drink, it's, um, I, I was traveling today. I was traveling through Tennessee on my way to Nashville. I picked it up at, at a gas station somewhere along the way. I don't actually remember. Um, but I feel like I've seen it around Asheville. I, I know maybe, maybe not far out of town. I'm not sure either way. Um, the source... The source of my power, um, my, Joseph, my life runs on the power of friendship. Um, I've contemplated it and I go back and, and look at my life and my decisions and like what fuels me and keeps me going forward and it's my friends and it's interacting with them and sharing energy with them and bouncing off of them and I mean part of that is I guess me half joking about being an extrovert but unifying my my friends in like a community has um, really given me life um, Burnsville and Marshall have it apparently. Um, it, so talk, talking about this because I've like a, a couple I wouldn't say that Gatorade is better than friends. I would say that Gatorade is best enjoyed with friends. Um, if we're speaking of unique beverages and weird things that I want to drink on Facebook Live and talk to y'all about, um, there's a Publix in Weaverville, North Carolina, that is where I acquired Moxie, which is one of the things on, on my list to to uh, share with y'all. And I they have a lot of um, specialty stuff that it, I think I think Publix at least this Publix or Publix in the area are marketed towards um, tourists who are like staying in the area for a week or something and need to like get groceries but they want like some of their own things um, Moxie is a soda that is popular in New England in Maine specifically I believe um, it's something my dad enjoyed a long time ago and my my dad collected a lot of memorabilia and stuff so he, he had a lot of weird 
ads for it. And there'd always be this this guy with like slick back hair and like um like he, he looked like he had a suit on you though we see him like from 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 the torso up, but he'd always be like pointing and like when I was growing up, my my half brother saw all these these ads that my dad had for Moxie. Where like sometimes he'd have friends um, uh, send Moxie down to him if they were going through New England or something, and look at the guy on the cover and be like, "Hey, yo, drink Moxie, say." And uh, I got a kick out of that. But um, I remember I only drank it once. When I was younger, I think I was in, like, ninth grade, and I thought it was disgusting. I kind of remember it tasting like carbonated, like, I think sort of like Vaporub is what I'm remembering. But it's been so long that I'm not really sure if that's accurate or not. Um, I'm, I want to go back and taste it and see what it what it's really like. Um, that's that's one that, that I'm trying to hype up. Here. Yeah, it's it's like you can knock it back like more like water than uh, than any other Gatorade that I can think of. It goes water, cucumber, water, cucumber. Um, yeah, so that's that's one I'll, I'll be going back to. Bad experiences drinking Gatorade. Um, I don't think that I've ever had a bottle of Gatorade that I cracked into and tasted and just rejected. I don't think that I've ever had a situation with it where I'm just like, ooh, new flavor, and I crack it open and try it and just like, no, can't do this. Throwing it in the trash, giving it to a friend, whatever. Um, I think Cool Blue grosses me out. I can't remember ever having it, but like, I feel like I have, like somewhere in my nightmares or something. I'm not sure. And um, green apple is one I'm suspicious of. I've never had green apple, so I'll have to I'll have to have that on live sometime. That's on the list. Um, the biggest thing I'd consider bad experiences I've had drinking Gatorade are that my favorite flavors get discontinued. Um, I. <laughs> When I was very young, like eight, yeah, eight is when it would have been out. There was a flavor, it, it, there are only four of y'all here right now, but anybody holler if you remember Midnight Thunder Gatorade. Because at the time that that was out, I adored it. <laughs> I I don't even, I I can't even remember. I think it was like a vaguely like blackberry-ish flavor, um, but I was really into it at the time. I would like to try it again, um, but it's long since discontinued. Oh, you remember Midnight Thunder? Um, I was totally here for it. And then like um, the Alpine Snow, like one of the first frost ones that came out, um, I... I loved that one. Uh, that's no longer available in the States. Uh, when I went to Italy when I was in ninth grade, they had it there, and I think they still do. Um, I'm not sure. If I ever go overseas or have any friends go overseas or something, I, I might try to arrange to acquire some of that because that was, that was one of my very favorites. Um... Going back real quick, regular mango Gatorade. I don't, I'm not sure if I've had one that's just called mango. I feel like there was like an extreme mango or something. There's now a mango pineapple flow. Um, if you if you see it, like grab me a bottle, I'll, I'll drink it. Um, I usually like mango things. Uh, Fruitopia, um, 
I think Coke owns the rights to Fruitopia. And I don't know if it's still the case with this, but for a while you could get it in certain fountains, like like one flavor of it or something, like at McDonald's, something like that, like long after they stopped making bottles of it. Um, I remember Fruitopia from when I was a kid. I definitely had some. I remember the, the commercials. Who... Who was doing the music on a Fruitopia commercial? Was... There were... There were Fruitopia commercials that Bjork did the music to, if I remember correctly. Something like that. Um... Yoshi children's drink. I I don't remember that. Um, I don't remember any Mario beverages. Um, the Nintendo cereal system was before my time. Um, there. I swear when I was a kid, I remember seeing like Kraft Mac and Cheese like Mario shapes, but I'm not sure if I ever actually did. And I thought that was funny because that was one of my like youngest memories of like, did I have a weird dream about a food product or did I actually see that in, in an aisle? And I can't say for sure, but then like, Within the past couple months, I happened to look at like Kraft Mac and Cheese in a grocery store, and there were like now Super Mario flavors, or not flavors. It's all the same flavor. Also, Super Mario flavored anything it sounds a little distress, distressing, but um, <clears throat> but Mario shapes, <laughs> Mario flavored pasta. That's um. Hmm. Um, oh, so it, it's it's something you you have in, in your in your taste bud memory. That's interesting because that that's what messes with me the most. Like like olfactory and and, and taste memory is like so strong, and associations with it are. Hmm. So, I'm just about done with this, and I still don't have. A lot of following on it, and it's it's getting late. I guess L late on a Sunday is not the best time to get people to watch me drink Gatorade. But thanks for shooting the shit with me, guys, and um, or y'all rather. And um, personally, if you if you like Gatorade, I don't expect you to necessarily like this the way like. Just like, oh yeah, like I'll pick up lemon lime if it's all they have. I'll pick up fruit punch if it's all they have. Uh, happy birthday, Seth. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that you're sharing this magic moment with with us here and my lime cucumber Gatorade. Um, I'll take a request on drinking something else next time, if you like, from you personally. Um, yeah, so, yeah, not necessarily something I'd recommend to everyone, like, oh yeah, you'll definitely like that if you like this Gatorade or that Gatorade. There's no precedent for a Gatorade that I can compare this to. If you, <laughs> if you are, um... If you don't drink a lot of sugary drinks or a lot of mass marketed sodas or anything like that, um, you press your own juice or make, I, I don't know, you make weird detox drinks like I did. Um, well, here's to that, Emily Ann toast um yeah basically um that in that case if you're trying to dip your toes into the concept of Gatorade like maybe I could recommend it in that regard but as far as um 
something that I guess if you want to take your taste buds out of the comfort zone, if you're still looking for like the hydration, the quenching component of Gatorade, but you're you're not looking for something sh super sugary or you just want to taste the weird Gatorade, I recommend tasting this. I think I think it's a fun and unique romp. Um, and I, I understand there's another one of these, uh, what, what do they call them? Another one of these, again, for, forgive my accent, uh, Nuestra Sabor, uh, flavors, um, that is out now somewhere in the area, someone told me, so I'm, I'm probably going to, um, blushing now um I, i'm i'm probably going to review that one soon as well um i miss you too may i'm sorry that you're not feeling well emily ann and that i'm sorry that you're drinking powerade instead of gatorade and also um little secret about staying hydrated and maintaining electrolytes um the the best thing to do besides water of course um, you should always drink water because nothing really beats it for hydration for obvious reasons. But if you're concerned about maintaining electrolytes, Pedialyte is the way to go. And um, maybe at some point we'll delve into that territory um, here. Um, it's my pleasure to be your fun and unique romp for the evening. Um, I am going to retire for now, um, but we'll be back soon and uh, do something. Hit me up with requests. Let's hang out. Let's drink beverages or something else soon. Peace out, y'all.